All right, so we just got the phone um, with a caseworker about a call, and I'm kind of um, I'm kind of in shock, and um, yeah, I'm just amazed by what I learned. Um, so if you watched our video a couple ago about um, potential placement phone calls. We were deliberating between two different cases. One was three little boys, one was a sibling set of two. And I kept saying in the video that I just didn't have peace about the second case and I didn't know why I had no reason. They, they didn't give me any information on the phone to make me think that anything was wrong. In fact, all they said was the kids have really good, they're really great kids, they're really good listeners. Um, and I just, so this phone call I just got was, she's explaining to me the case, um, says the little boy's name and it's a very unique name um and i was like wait i think i got a phone call for this case a couple weeks ago but now they're splitting the siblings because they couldn't find a home for all the kids anyway so she went in to tell me about the my husband's standing right here that's why i'm looking over there he's sitting um went in to tell me about the case and the little girl has really big issues i mean like really big issues to where like she's explaining it to me and it's not sometimes they leave them out on purpose the details because they w just want to place a kid sometimes they just don't have all the facts until they're a little ways in but um so anyways like obviously my gut instinct was 100% right on this case it was way more than we could take on and I'm actually kind of um I'm overwhelmed at the fact that like my that I was right I guess like it's I'm just feeling really Thankful at the moment that I had that gut instinct and then we went with it. So now they've all been put in different homes So now it's just the two-year-old remaining so they said that I mean obviously he's been exposed to the same things as the other siblings Yeah, but he's too little to mm -hmm. I mean they don't know he's delayed But not as bad as these ones probably like age-appropriate most most kids in care are delayed I think they say year right mm -hmm. an hour year and a half yeah. on average a year to a year and a half Behind where they're supposed to be hi, baby the lack of care and nurture <laughs> It just sets him back. Anyways, what do you think about that? Um, I don't know. I don't. Uh, I'm not like super scared of it because he's little. Okay, come here. Oh, you're so heavy. What's in your backpack? Rocks. But aren't we waiting to hear tomorrow about the other case? Yeah. Yeah. Or no? What are you thinking? I mean, it sounds like that's gonna fall through. Okay. Nobody takes sibling sets, so the fact that we're available to take a sibling yep. set of two, and then we'd fill one of our spots with the two with this little guy. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could always take a single another, another kid, yeah. but that means you have double the court hearings, you have double visitation, right. um, you have different traumas. Like it's a lot to keep <laughs> track of. I feel like. Mm -hmm. Long term case, probably. They don't know. No, they're, they're... It's a new social worker. I've never talked to her before. We can use tell her that we'll, we're waiting to hear about the other case tomorrow. All right, well, I'll call her back and tell her we'll wait until tomorrow and then figure it out. Okay. And then I don't know what we're gonna do. Yeah, true. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, we did it. We said yes to this placement. We were able to call. There were some little, little boys we were waiting on to figure out if that was gonna go through or not. It's not going through. So we said yes to this little bug. And, um, you know, we were really hoping for a sibling set. Um, but at the same time, this little boy has literally been sitting in the offices all day long. They've been trying to find a placement all day long and nobody can take him and there's not enough home. So, um, we're just believing that this is the right move for us, even though it's not a sibling set, but he still needs a home and still needs love. And so we're doing it. Um, he should be to our house within the hour. So exciting. And I don't know. I mean, for any of you that follow me on Instagram, I posted a story a couple days ago about how I have major foster baby fever. My phosphories are hurting like crazy, and I'd set up this little baby area, and I said, but I'm trying not to get too excited, because you never know when you might get a two-year-old, and a two-year-old's not going to fit in this little cradle. Well, little did I know that that was prophetic, because here he comes. Hi. 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 Okay, so little buddy just arrived and we're just trying to get adjusted, get to know him a little bit. First thing you do when you get a new placement is check him for head lice. You don't want to learn that later. <laughs> and then throw what they do come with in the laundry. That's if they come with anything. A lot of times they come with absolutely nothing. But the clothes they do come with, you throw them 
because of lice, one. And then if they come from a drug situation, you want to get rid of all of that before bringing it all into your home. So Tyler and the kids are playing with the little buddy and getting acquainted, helping him be more comfortable. And I am in the middle of laundry. Where'd they go? Oh, Becker? Are you saying Becker? Where'd he go? Can you say Sutter? Good. And Paisley? Can you say Paisley? Good, buddy. Now, if only we can remember his name. Wait, what did he say for my banana? Mm -mm. Paisy. Paisy. Good. Okay. I've been called Paisy before. <laughs> Paisy. Hey, Ow. Boy, boy. Boy, boy come back. <laughs> well, we survived our first night, <coughs> evening, night, and first thing in the morning with our new placement. He seems super sweet and just loving being around the kids. Um, this is what we have on the kid. Flash it at you. This is one, two, three pages. This is all we have on him. And of the three pages, the only thing that's filled out is his first and last name, don't know his middle, his age, his birthday, the fact that he's a male, thank you, we figured that out. And that's it. As for like, does he have allergies? Unknown. Is he on medications? Unknown. Everything's unknown. It's so crazy. So yeah, so you can imagine what it's like to take these kiddos to the doctors and they ask you to fill out stuff and you leave the whole thing blank. <laughs> and they go, aren't you the mom? And you're like, kind of. Anyway, so um, yeah, there it is. There's this little guy in a nutshell, a really small nutshell, but so far things are going good. What do you think it is? I didn't know. Uh, Calvin! Calvin! Calvin. <laughs> what is his name? Well, Al Becker, Be Becker called him. Not Oliver. <laughs> it's tricky. Not Oliver. Stir. 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 So it is end of day two. Well, well it's one. the second day, but it's pretty much only 24, 24 hours. hours. <laughs> yeah. 28 and change ish hours <laughs> since we got since our placement yeah. little man showed up little man number three i guess he's the third boy third we've boy. ever had yeah third boy currently in the house oh wait <laughs> yeah, and the third foster other... boy we've had uh sh yeah yeah <laughs> um things are going well i think he is easy so far, fingers crossed. So far. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we'll find out if we're in the honeymoon stage mm -hmm. or if he's just... Or if he's just easy. An easy kid. Yeah. Um, super tough kid. We've had some bumps and bruises already. He's a champ. Cartwheeled down the stairs. Yeah. So in the 28 plus hours <laughs> and change, he's cartwheeled down the stairs. Cartwheeled down the stairs. He slammed his finger really hard in the door. Yep. And then he hit his head on the corner of the desk and had blood gushing down his head and down yeah. his neck. But we only discovered it because head. I saw blood smear down the stairs and I was like, someone's bleeding, something's wrong. And yeah. then I went and found him and he's didn't bleeding. Even, didn't so make a peep though. Didn't we're going to win care. a foster parent award for best first 28-ish yeah. hours. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think the biggest challenge so far has just been trying to remember his name. It's true. He's uh, been called Antler. Oliver. He's been called Human. Oliver. Uh, Calvin. Atticus. Stir. Stir. <laughs> what was um, called him? Sir. Sir and Stir, and then she called him something else. Really um, funny. I was writing them um, down. These are just... Oh, Jesse Mocher. Oh, and syrup. I don't know where that came from. Oh, Syrup. Gals are good. And Alice. All, none of which are his name, obviously. So we're working on that all around. Yeah. You know, the five of us are all trying to adjust and remember his name. One it's of a, us usually gets it, but the other four are usually 
quite off and can't quite figure it out. Are you saying that you get his name right? And no, no, no. Right? One at a time. It's not always me. I'm oh, saying true. Usually one of the five of us. If somebody pipes up and says, hey, what's his like, name? Somebody can remember. Somebody can remember. Yeah. But <laughs> not all of us. Hit and miss who it is. But yeah, he's super sweet. Like he's adjusting so far. Seems well, really well. Doesn't seem like he's too out of place. No. Yeah, he's doing, I think he's the, probably the easiest transition we've ever had. So far, yeah. Yeah, and if I was one to knock on wood, I'd be knocking on wood right now. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll find out. On to day two, two. and a half. Two. Yeah. Something. Two. two. Down to day two. I'd on to night three. Today was the, f I don't know. Today was the first full day. First full day. Second, second bedtime. Yes. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Anyways. That's all.